about um you know this upcoming fight i know that you've had controversy with uh terence crawford in the past um do you think that uh he could he can handle uh spence or do you think he has exactly what it takes to beat spence it's funny that you brought up the fact that i had controversy with uh crawford one has nothing to do with the other um that shit happened years ago we met you know what I'm saying? We met. He got out of order back when, and shit went left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But we met. You know what I'm saying? We grew past that point. To be honest with you, I think Terrence is a is a. I think Terrence is a overall better specimen than Earl in this particular fight. Um, I think Terrence is a better boxer, like overall boxer. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think he's more athletic than Earl. Um, I feel just like I felt with Caleb Plant when he fought Canelo. If Caleb is in 15-round shape, I think he can beat Canelo. But on the flip side of that shit, even though I feel as though that Terrence is a better boxer, a better F, better F, he's more athletic. <sighs> He also shows that he like he's he lacks defensive discipline. He shows that he he does get hit in fights. He shows that not only does he get hit, that he when he does get hit, that he's visibly hurt by these shots that he's get hit with, and he's been visibly hurt by smaller guys. I think on the flip side of that coin, I think Earl is more technically sound than Terrence is. I think he he does the basics much better than Terrence. Terrence get away with a lot of shit because of his athletic ability. You know, um, I think Earl, he does the correct things. He keeps his hands up. He brings his hands up when he finishes firing. All of that shit matters. And he's naturally the bigger puncher, bigger guy. I think, um, like I say, by seven for eighth, Earl going to start walking Terrence ass down like Freddy Kugel and Michael Myers and start dropping them dumbbells. And if he catch Terrence in one of them corners, Terrence can't get in there and have a firefight with Earl and just have a shootout exchange. I think Earl is the bigger punch. I think Earl will get the best of the of the exchanges. Um, I think if the fight gets, if anybody gets stopped, if the fight gets stopped, I think, Earl will win by by stoppage, and if it goes to the decision, I think it'll be Terrence winning. Mm. It's one of those type of things. So, I mean, I could be wrong. You know, anything can happen in the fight. Do you believe this is like one of those 50-50 classic fights of this era? I think me and Javante Tank Davis would be bigger. Mm. Mm. Let's speak upon that a little bit more. <laughs> Um, you know, honest. yeah. So I mean, that I mean, you you. With that being said, I mean, you somewhat second that, but I think it'd be a great fight. I think it'd be it'd be great for for the time being because shit, the best isn't fighting the best. The guys that's supposed to be the best fighters, they're not fighting the best. They picking and choosing. They rather fight somebody that they know they can beat and shit like that. They're not competing against the best, so. It'd be good for that, but I don't think it'd be bigger than me and Javante. Speak upon that fight. If that fight ever becomes in fruition, um, why is that a classic fight? Why? Yeah, Just the, uh, the, stylistically. Oh, stylistically? I mean, you got the classic uh, puncher versus the boxer. You know what I'm saying? You know, the boxer puncher, and then be honest with you. They can say, I don't hit hard all the fuck they want. You don't see too many people running in here with this shit. There's a reason why. This shit hurt. So, <laughs> um, I think that's one of the reasons why. You know, then you also have to mention, you know, just just within the area, the DMV area. It would be big within the DMV area alone. You know, um, that's <laughs> it'd be big in the DMV area alone. Like if we were to have a fight like that in the DMV, like it would be almost not fair to everyone else because they're not gonna have an opportunity to even come to the fucking fight. 
you can close the fucking airports down because everybody in the DMV area that fight need that fight would need to be held at like the 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 stadium at at the the capital. What's the new Redskins name? Uh, what's the new name of the capital? Uh, Commanders. You gotta be at the Commanders. They gotta be at the Commanders Stadium or something like that. It'd be one of those big time fights, you know. And you can shut the airports down for that. You ain't even gotta let nobody in the city. Just people in the DMV area alone was selling out. Mm. So it seems to me once tickets are on sale, they gone. They gone. Them them tickets go on sale. Them motherfuckers gone before they even touch. They gone before they touch down. Next you week we selling them. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> now, um, what about you know, um, I, I fight with you and uh, Ryan Garcia if he decides to stay at one thirty five. That'll be a good one. I burn Ryan ass up too. Ryan can get it. Ryan can get it. Especially from that shit that I seen how he performed when he fought Tank. Ryan can definitely get it. Speak upon that. I mean, so it's bittersweet because I got to give you both sides. You know, I'm I'm a person outside of the sport of boxing. I think outside of boxing, I think Ryan is genuinely. You know what I'm saying? He's a younger kid. He's cool. I think he's cool. He's funny and shit like that. But when it comes to that motherfucker squid, he can't fuck with me. It's night and day. He's a YouTuber. He's a motherfucker. I put him in the same ballpark as Logan Paul or some shit. Like, he's a YouTuber, uh, 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 Instagrammer or something like that. Put a YouTuber or Instagrammer, some sh- let us do an exhibition and see if he don't get fucking destroyed. Hmm. So, I mean, that'll be a good one. That'll be a good one. So, and then the other Richter scale, you you said the bitter and the, the bitter and the sweet. Yeah, I mean, that, what, like I say, I say outside of the sport, you know, outside of the sport of boxing. I think he's, a, I think he's genuinely a cool person. I think he's a he's a cool kid. You know what I'm saying? He's funny. You know what I'm saying? He's a little charismatic. You know, he's cool. You know, but. <laughs> You can seal them both in the same body. You you put us in that box. It's something different. You can't fuck me out in there. Right. You know, so I think I think um he he didn't have he don't got enough experience. I don't think he's been in there. He would definitely be in unfamiliar territory competing against me. Mm. 